Dear Britain, you love to talk about nothing so much as the weather, and yet you've produced the world's greatest poet. You think a cup of tea is a cure for everything, and yet you've given the world the idea of free healthcare for all. How do you accommodate the contradictions in your own character? How can you be so fiercely Scottish, but also so proudly British? How can you, a Yorkshire girl, so denigrate your neighbour for living on the wrong side of the Pennines, and yet unite with her in such courage to help a friend in need? Greater minds than mine have failed to make sense of you. But maybe sense isn't what it's cracked up to be. Maybe it's your irreconcilable contradictions and the stories you tell to fill in the gaps that make you who you are. Diversity, difference, change. These have been your only constants. And to make sense of them, to understand yourself and your neighbours, you have developed a world-class imagination. Not to highlight your differences, but to find common cause with those who are different, at home and abroad. And along the way, you have made the world sing, laugh and cry with you. So keep imagining, keep wondering what it means to be different and what makes us the same. Maybe that is how our four great nations have become something greater still. As someone cleverer than me once said, you are the Isles of Wonder, no more and certainly nothing less than a figment of your beautiful imagination. Love, Olivia.